Okay, I'd just like to try and show you how to do the stargazing hack. It's quite simple really. From the point under the chin, the um, little notch, go right up to the corner. It's not that notch, but sort of where it's got a bit of a corner there. Draw a line almost to the edge and then cut it so that you can swivel that, that up. Then put a piece of paper underneath. And what I've done is, I've done a three inch gap. Now you may want to change it, you might want him to look up a bit more or less, so it's entirely up to you, but mine was three inches. So when you get that measuring three inches, put a piece of sellotape on and secure it. Make sure it hasn't moved. And then if you've got one of these, great. If not, just do it by eye. Just draw the line going round. Oops. So I'm trying to do it quick because I'm not sure how long I can upload. And then that gives you the looking up. There's a bit more to do though. I'll just cut that out. So once you've put your little triangle of paper in there, sellotaped it all so that it's all nice and together, draw a line one and a half inches from these two notches up. So one and a half inches, draw your line on your side piece and also on your back panel, which is this piece. So an inch and a half up and draw your line. Then fold that line over and bring it down to the notches. It does look weird and it did look peculiar when I was making it but it seems to have worked. And then sellotape that down and that is your side panel pattern. You can put a piece of paper behind and done what I've done with the triangle there or just round that off when you actually cut it out. The same obviously with the back, fold that over, bring that down to the notches so you're effectively taking off an inch and a half. I tried it without doing that and it looked most peculiar. Um, so you've got, you've got to take a little bit of the neck away. So when you cut it out, obviously you'll smooth that round and, and round like that. So when you come to stitch it, you'll do it exactly the same as the uh, forward facing hair. Start at the under chin point, where you put your gusset onto the back panel first and then you fit that to your side panel, starting at the under chin point and going all the way around and just smoothing off those edges. Well, you'll have, have cut it out and um, smoothed off anyway. When you come to do the front seam, instead of going from that notch down, you start from that notch. So you go all the way down here through the front seam. And hopefully um, it will look like this. I've just done something slightly different with the ears on this one. I've put this sort of wrap around thing on it to give the impression that it's a little bit more like a hare's ears as I can do that on this style. And when I fitted the ears, I fitted them to um, some of the patches that were already on there really securely. And the two wires are obviously underneath here secured really well. And but I did trim them off so that I didn't want the uh, the wire to intrude on fitting the eyes so the top part of this wire was trimmed back a little bit and the other one it left extended and then to cover up that I just put some wadding on to give it these um, sort of jowls and I think it looks really good from the back too with these flappy ears anyway have a go thank you